to tell me a little bit about your job. Well, my name is Margaret Lucas. My title is Professor of Ultrasonics in the Mechanical Engineering Department at the University of Glasgow. What does your job at the moment involve? My job consists of uh, two main aspects. One is teaching and I contribute to the lecturing of students, undergraduate students and postgraduate students at, at the University of Glasgow in this department. And the other aspect of my work involves research. Uh, my area of research is in ultrasonics and I supervise a team of researchers in that area. Can you tell me what ultrasonics are, please? Yes, my area in ultrasonics in mechanical engineering involves the use of vibrations at frequencies above the hearing range. So humans can usually hear frequencies up to about 16 to 18 kilohertz. Usually ultrasonics is thought of as, as any frequencies above 20 kilohertz. And most people have heard of ultrasonics through imaging. So in medical applications, ultrasound is very often used for looking at babies in the womb and in engineering for looking at flaws in materials that's all carried out at low power. Most of my research is involved in high power ultrasonics, where the ultrasonic energy is used in a, a destructive or positive way on the material. So we look at issues such as cutting bone and other materials with ultrasound, uh, destroying bacteria with ultrasound and using it to form metals. What do you enjoy most about your job? I think the best aspects of being an engineer in an academic environment are the excitements you get when you make real breakthroughs in research. So I suppose that that's what really excites me and drives me in an academic career. I also really enjoy my teaching. I teach at different levels to undergraduate students. Um, it's always a challenge to try and put across information in engineering in an interesting way and keep up to date in your courses, so I really enjoy that too. Were you involved in any engineering related courses or careers before the one you're in just now? Well, I've really been in an academic environment for all of my career. Um, I started off with my degree in engineering, I then did a master's degree and then did a PhD, which is a doctoral uh, engineering degree. And since then I've been a lecturer at Loughborough University and then at Glasgow University. And I've worked my way through to being a professor here at Glasgow University. How do you manage your work-life balance? Well, I currently have two children of primary school age. So I really need to balance my time with my children and my time at work. And first of all, I need a really good uh, childcare set up that's reliable and my children are happy with and I'm happy with. So that can be difficult to find but really helps. I try to devote my evenings and weekends to my family and focus very much on my work when I'm in my office. But it's always a juggle with time and um, just managing time for yourself, for your family and for your work. It's never going to be easy. But you have to just find a good setup that works for you. Why would you recommend mechanical engineering and engineering in general to a prospective student? Well, if you enjoy maths and physics at school and science subjects in general, then I think it's got a lot of challenges that you can really get your analytical skills involved with. And um, engineering is probably using science knowledge and mathematical modelling, but in a, in a way that ends up with a product or a design or an outcome in such a vast range of industries that there's always lots of really interesting challenges. Some people will end up in a very niche area of engineering and some people will be using their skills across a very broad range of engineering, but the challenges are all really interesting. Thank you.